Hi guys, I'm Marina. I'm a research associate for Patrick Morgan Search and a charity trustee for the Patrick Morgan Foundation. Now we're an executive search business that does um, high level recruitment for directors and partners at consulting firms that set up a foundation late last year to go into schools and talk to young people about the process of getting into the working world because we have a lot of experiences with um, managing CVs, introducing candidates to companies and so on. Um, and so uh, we've noticed, obviously, that the process has changed a lot during this past four months because we've all been stuck inside and not a lot has moved in that direction. I'm back in the office, but that's not the case for a lot of people and specifically for students who feel like they've missed out on a lot of not just learning, but life experiences that they could have otherwise used and that employers look for to assess students on. Um, obviously that's not going to be the case anymore. And I want to talk just a little bit about how you can be prepared and how you can grow and develop um, while this is happening, while you're stuck at home, um, while school has been out and um, you don't have the same opportunities as past generations have had. Um, first of all, during lockdown, it's been a great, for me personally, it's been a great time to develop some new skills. I'm starting to learn Dutch. <laughs> and... Um, However sort of isolating it's been because I for one live alone. I know that most students live with family and it can feel a bit suffocating or You live with family, but they're out still working and it can feel very isolating no matter what circumstance you're in it can feel um, Very new and a bit wrong, but it is a lot of time on your hands and it's best to try and use that time to develop a new skill or to work on your the skills that you're already confident in, or to learn something new. Um, the best thing you can prove to an interviewer is that you've used a chance to develop yourself and to take initiative to learn something uh, that you otherwise wouldn't have. They they look for people who are you know independent thinkers and who can take something like this and turn it into something positive. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is social media and how we, as an executive search business at this level, and even at recruitment level for graduates, rely a lot on social media. We look a lot at LinkedIn, we Google search names quite a lot. Every time we have a candidate that we need to introduce, um, the first thing we do is search their name. So there is a way to correctly use social media, and especially in lockdown, to be able to develop your profile on social media so you can have that as an asset rather than something that you're scared that people might look up. Um, your LinkedIn profile should be as developed as possible. Um, it's a place for you to list not just your experiences and your jobs, but also interests, languages, um, connect with as many people as possible. And it's also a great networking site, which is its core, right? Where you can do your research and introduce yourself to professionals in your field, um, or rather in the field that you want to get into, either in higher education or um, work companies. Um, make sure that your LinkedIn profile is as neat as possible and as organized as possible. And um, yeah, just make it as focus, really focus on your LinkedIn profile. It's going to help you a lot more than you think. Um, on this, actually, is uh, virtual interviews, which is obvious. We're not going to have many in-person interviews for a while, or even if they're starting, they're not going to be to the same extent. It's going to be a lot of mask wearing and social distancing. So a lot of people still just prefer to do video call meetings. Um, you know, the classic advice fits, right? Find a nice background. Um, make sure that your sound quality and video quality are decent. Make sure that it's not going to cut off in the middle. Uh, technical difficulties aren't going to lose you a job, um, but it's worth just making sure that all those things are in place. It's also worth making sure that you prepare for a virtual interview just like you would for um, a physical interview. Your posture matters just as much. Um, your body language, the way you look at the camera, make sure you're not looking at yourself, but rather at the screen that shows the interviewer. All those things still apply. Just really do your research, especially now that um, this has happened and everyone's sort of in the same boat with virtual interviews, even at higher level. There's a lot of resources and a lot of people have published um, a lot of help in this direction to make sure that people can access those resources and do well in this new sort of age of interviews, if you will. Lastly, um, we talked a little bit about it in the LinkedIn section of this little video, but the 
basics of a great CV, or rather, a great CV is very important still um, and should be prioritized, both in the form of LinkedIn and a physical CV that you can send to job applications. Um, your profile on LinkedIn will often be a great resource for that. A lot of online applications require you to just send a LinkedIn profile and that can act as your CV. Um, so use that as the basic format, you know, start with careers, uh, not careers, start with jobs, most recent one, um, build a profile, sort of a paragraph about yourself, keep it professional, um, enter school details, any extracurricular activities, um, the same kind of thing. But a CV will be just as important, if not more, especially now that there's less opportunity to meet someone face to face and make sure you um, showcase your personality that way. A lot has to be packed into a CV, a LinkedIn profile, and the skills that you develop um, to do a great interview when you get to that stage. And lastly, I want to talk a little bit about the um, applying for jobs and applying for higher education and colleges and apprenticeships and all of that. Um, there's great, there's a wide variety <laughs> of places to look and it can feel a bit daunting. What I would say is try and start with identifying key people at the companies that you wanna work for and messaging them directly or find the designated sort of recruitment person at that company and messaging them directly. It's a lot more personal. You can write um, a nice email to go with it. You can write them a letter to make sure that they, you know, look at you as a candidate who's really interested in them rather than just someone who submitted a CV to an application. That being said, um, if you find specific job openings, go ahead and do that. But it's also very good to look on LinkedIn. It's always LinkedIn um, to make sure you identify professionals who um, do the kind of thing you want to do or rather who do HR or administration or recruitment for uh, a company in that field and reach out to them directly and try and maintain relationships because often career building will be just as much about maintaining the relationships you've formed early on um, like it is about skill and competence and all that, you know. I hope this has been enlightening.